Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be reviewing this girl. This is Davida by Outre. Stay tuned. And welcome back. Okay, so today I'm gonna be reviewing uh, Davida. She's a lace front unit. Um, she's by Outre. She belongs to a friend of mine, um, Anne. So Anne, um, I know you're out there, I know you're watching. Thank you for letting me borrow this girl to review on my channel. She is the last um, wig that I have, the last unit I have from um, Anne's personal collection to review. Although that, that might be changing. I'm gonna be um, seeing Anne uh, this weekend, coming up. Um, and she said she's probably going to end up bringing some wigs down. And if she doesn't, that's fine. I got some more sitting over there. And I'll get some more of, of hers later. But I think she's going to be bringing a few down for me to review on my channel. So I just want to say thank you very much to Anne for um, hooking me up. Helping me out. All right. So, um, and thank you to all my subscribers. Okay. I appreciate you guys. I really do. Okay. So. Today, what we've got is Davida. She is a lace front wig. It says that she has a pre-plucked lace parting. See right there? Okay, it says she has HD transparent lace, high techs, uh, heat safe fiber, so she's heat safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, Anne has her in the color uh, DR Caramel, which is what I'm gonna be reviewing today. And it says she has a Five inch Swiss lace L parting with natural baby hair. Davida. Okay, so I've got her out of the package already because um, Anne, I believe, has tried her on even though nothing has been done. Her lace has not been cut or anything. So this is she. Here she is. Okay, you can see the 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 caramel colors. So there, she's rooted throughout, but then she has different types of fibers. It looks like she's got maybe some 27, 30, maybe a little, um, I don't know if there's any 613 in there. She, uh, she's really pretty though. She's got nice, rich, deep blonde colors. Okay. All right. So here is the lace part that I'm talking about. Here's the lace on it. So if you are of uh, browner skin, that's how it's gonna look for you. Okay, you almost can't even see it on my on my skin. Um, this is her parting space. Here's this five inches. It says, so I'll take my hand out of there. See it? Okay, and it is an L, so it um, does curve to the side. All right, now she is a side part. Looks like she's a right side part. Those are my favorite parts. All right, so anyway, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? The inside of her cap, she has two combs in the front. There and there. And she's got a comb in the back. All right, and she does come with those nifty adjustable straps. Okay, okay, so... Anyway, I am gonna go ahead and um, get this girl on and see what she looks like. Ready? Ready? Okay, here we go. Oh, where did all the lace go? Oh, it's actually on my forehead. didn't mostly roll up. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Oh, okay. So here's her parting space. Can you see it? I know you can probably see right where my wig cap ends, right there. So her parting space doesn't look terrible. Um, I think in real life it's maybe not that wide. Yeah, I don't know if I would pluck that part or not, you guys. I don't know. 
I don't know. Okay, um, uh, this, some of this will end up getting taken care of once I get that cut off. Oh, there we go. Okay, let me go off camera real quick and cut this lace and I will be right back. And I'm back. Okay, so I cut about this much lace off. You see that right there? About that much. Okay, so this is what we've got now. All right, I forgot to tell you, um, I forgot to show you the inside of this cap. There we go. So she has these uh, wefts are sewn in to this open cap, open weft design. All right. So her hair is going to poke through. Um, you just reach in there, crochet hook, finger, um, rat tail comb, and you just scoop that out however you want to get in there and get at that hair as it goes into the inside of the cap. Go ahead, reach in there and do it. Now she is very soft. She is a soft. She's not yakky at all. She's very, 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 very soft, okay? She's just a silky hair texture, all right? In case you're wondering. Um, let's see, what else about her before I put her back on my head? Nothing, I think that's the only thing I forgot. All right, let's get this girl on the head. Okay. Okay, so I did leave the baby hair. You can see that? I mean, I can see it. Um, so I did leave the baby hair on her. She does have very dark roots here. So I'm gonna sit that back onto my head just a little bit because it is looking very dark here. That's pretty good. What I would do if she were mine, I would actually probably go in there and pluck those just a little bit more, okay? I would probably pluck all of these out just a tiny bit to help soften that line up. Um, but she's not my wig and you can see here's my cap. It's moved all the way back to there. But that's what I would do to help soften this line up. I would go in and I would pluck a little bit more right here at the front part of this lace, okay? That means I probably would end up plucking a bit of those baby hair. If you don't wanna do that and you just wanna lay that baby hair down, it does come down and you can swoop it in, okay? So you would swoop. I don't sweep my hair though. So I am gonna brush it in. But I might would go in there on this wig because of the dark root. See how dark that is? I would probably end up going in there and plucking that out a little bit more. And of course, if you know me and you follow my channel, you know I have a crazy widow's peak uh, that I fight constantly with wigs and wig design. Constantly fighting that widow's peak. But other than that, she doesn't look too bad. She's pretty. She's coming off a little greener um, on camera. She's got a little bit of a green tint to her. That, y'all, that is my lighting. That is not this wig. This wig under natural lighting is blonde, okay? With a dark root. Because this is just a short, sweet video. She's not my wig. I'm not gonna uh, do a whole lot with her. What I am gonna do is put some powder in that space. I'm just using a powder foundation. I'm using Fit Me. Um, my color that I use is 220.
And I'm just powdering that part a tiny little bit just to kind of disguise that um, Yeah, see this this is this is coming off a little green. Y'all, she's not green. She's pretty blonde. It's my it's my camera lighting and I think my complexion a little bit. Okay, so this is Davida in DR Caramel. Again, she's got the high tech uh, heat safe fiber. Does she look like the stock card? I think she does. Mm hmm. I think she's pretty. Look. She's pretty, pretty wig. Gorgeous. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's. I have a swivel chair. So if you hear a funny chair noises, that is my new swivel chair that I have not WD 40 And she's. The chair's not new to. It's new to me, but it's not a new chair. My sister, uh, Kristen, hooked me up. Cause I was like, oh, I'm getting so tired of the, of not being able to swivel. But okay, so here we go on the side. And then see, it makes noises. The back. The other side. And then back to the front, okay? All right. So, new swivel chair, so I can do a 360 spin for y'all, and I can take some of that bit out at the beginning. I don't know what I'm going to put there. Probably still this for this video. I'm hoping I can get some other footage for my intros. Anyway, that is all I have today for Davida. She is cute, y'all. Look, she's cute. She's cute. Go ahead, pick this girl up. I don't feel like there's anything wrong with her, okay? The little bit of darkness, y'all can fix that with plucking and a little bit of concealer that you use, okay? It's it's she it's not bad. She's not bad. Okay, I don't know how much Anne, uh, how much Anne paid for her, and I'm not entirely sure where she is um, purchased from, but I will just put a couple of, like, Google, Amazon-type links down in the bottom there, and you can go and pick her up wherever you decide to buy her from, okay? And that is all I have for you today for Davida. Um, while you're here, go ahead and give me a like if you liked my video, and leave a comment down in the comment section if there is a wig that you would like me to review, and I will see what I can do for you. Um, other than that, thank you for subscribing, and if you haven't, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video, okay? Okay. I will see you guys later. Love you. Bye.